வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஈஸி லேர்ன் ஃபன்னி லேர்ன் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டு ரிசீவ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சாப்டர் டூ ஃபைபர் டு ஃபேப்ரிக் ஃப்ரம் நேஷனல் சயின்ஸ் ஒலிம்பியாட் என்எஸ்ஓ எம்டிஜி ஒர்க் புக் ஆஃப் கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் கன்சிடர் த ஃபாலோயிங் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஒன் டு ஃபைவ் அண்ட் செலக்ட் த ஆப்ஷன் that correctly identifies true and false ones first one angora wool is obtained from angora sheep false angora wool is obtained from angora rabbit okay angora rabbit so first one false second one spinning is the process of changing fiber into yarn true third sisal fiber is obtained from the fruit of plant false because sisal fiber is obtained from the leaves of its plant four the process of removing hair from the sheep is called shearing true four fifth one hemp fibers are obtained from the stem of the hemp plant true so one false two true three false four true and then five true so option a is the correct answer option a second one read the given statement and select the correct option statement 1 cotton is a preferred fabric to wear in summer true statement 2 it has good absorbency and allows air to pass through it true so option a both statement 1 and 2 are true and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 b both the statement 1 and 2 are true but statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1 c statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false d both the statement 1 and 2 are false so the correct option is option a statement 1 and 2 are true and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 so the answer is option a okay option a third one select the option that correctly fills the blanks in the given sentences a dash of a flax plant provides fibers b dash is the cheapest natural fiber and often called as golden fiber c the process of separating cotton fiber from cotton seed is called dash D dash is obtained by spinning together a bunch of fibers. E dash is a blended fabric. F the loose fluffy fibers of wool are untangled and combined to form a soft rope called a dash. So we know stem of a flax plant provides fibers, okay? Stem of a flax plant provides fibers. B Jute is the cheapest natural fiber and often called as the golden fiber. Jute is the cheapest natural fiber and often called as the golden fiber. C. The process of separating cotton fiber from cotton seed is called ginning. The process of separating cotton fiber from cotton seed is called ginning. dash is obtained by spinning together a bunch of fiber yarn okay yarn is obtained by spinning together a bunch of fiber e terricot is a blended fabric terricot is a blended fabric the loose fluffy fibers of wool are untangled and combed to form a long soft rope called a sliver okay so please check the option so one stem two jute three ginning four yarn five terricot six sliver so option d is the correct answer option d okay fourth identify x and y in the given venn diagram and select the correct option so x may be cotton polyester wool and linen y silk coir jute linen so please check the venn diagram in the given venn diagram x could be wool since it is a natural fiber okay x is a natural fiber and y could be jute since it is a natural fiber 
and obtained from plants okay x is a natural fiber y is a natural fiber and is obtained only from plants so option c is the correct answer x is a wool y is a jute option c is the correct answer option c refer to the given flow chart and select the correct option okay so sources of fiber two sources of fiber are plant source and then animal source plants obtained from stem obtained from fruit animals animal is killed animal is not killed so why w is a plant fiber obtained from stem x is a plant fiber obtained from fruit y is a animal fiber is obtained when animal is killed z is a animal fiber which is obtained by animal is not killed okay so by considering this fact c option c w can be linen and z can be wool okay z can be wool option c is the correct answer linen is a bast fiber obtained from stem of flax plant it is very strong and provides strength to the plant wool is obtained from animal that is sheep goat camel etc the animal is not killed during the process of shearing so option c w is linen is that is wool sixth refer to the given paragraph and select the correct option regarding x y and z the process of making yarn from fiber is called x yarn are used for making fabrics two main process are used to make fabric from yarn in process y two sets of yarn are arranged together to make a fabric while in process z single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric so we know weaving and knitting are the two process weaving and knitting are the two main process used to make fabric from yarn so in process weaving two sets of yarn are arranged together to make a fabric but in the process of knitting single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric and the process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning okay the process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning so x is spinning y is weaving is it is knitting so option b is the correct answer option b seventh if p represents the fiber and q represents the fabric find out the correct order in which q is made from p a p weaving spinning obtained from source yarn q b p obtained from source spinning weaving yarn q c p obtained from source spinning yarn weaving and then q so material used to make cloth is called fabric for the manufacture of fabric first fibers are obtained either from plants or animals then they are converted into yarns through spinning okay yarns through spinning the spun yarns are then viewed or knitted together to turn them into fabric so option c p obtained from source that is either plants or animals then spinning then yarn weaving q okay fabric is obtained so option c is the correct answer option c match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from quotes given below so column 1 ginning rating column 2 distangling of the cleaned fibers rotting of the stem to soften the tissue and then cording seed pods lint so column 2 balls cotton fibers are being separated from seeds separating fiber from seed so one 
one what is one ginning so we know ginning is the process of separating fiber from seed ginning is the process of separating fiber from seed so one e okay one e next retting retting is the process of rotting of the stem to soften the tissue so 2b 1e 2b okay 2b next cording cording is the process of cording is the process of disentangling of the cleaned fibers okay disentangling of the cleaned fibers so 3a 3a next is seed pods seed pods are balls so okay? cotton ball seed pods means balls so 4c 4c 5 lint lint is the cotton fiber after being separated from seed lint is the cotton fiber after being separated from seed so 5d so 1e 2b 3a 4c 5d so option a is the correct answer option a ninth one identify x in the given venn diagram so x is a natural fiber so retting process is involved grows well in a alluvial soil so we know jute is a natural fiber obtained from stem of plants it is grown in alluvial soil in delta region of river ganges and brahmaputra the process of jute involves retting okay the process of jute involves retting so option d jute is the correct answer option d 10th one read the given passage where some of the words have been italicized cotton plant is an annual shrub so annual is in italic it grows best in cold climate black soil is best suited for the cultivation of cotton plant the stems of cotton plants are called cotton balls the seeds with cotton fiber are picked from cotton ball by hand after picking the fibers are separated from the seed by a process called combing select the correct option regarding this a annual should be replaced by biennial and stem should be replaced by roots incorrect b cold should not be replaced as it is correctly mentioned it is incorrect c black should be replaced by red and stem should be replaced by fruits c option also incorrect d combing should be replaced by ginning so after picking fibers are separated from the seed by a process called combing actually it is a process known as ginning so option d is the correct answer option d 11th one the thin strands of dash that we see are made up of still thinner strands called dash a fiber fabric b fabric yarn c fiber yarn d yarn fiber so the thin strands of yarn that we see are made up of still thinner strands called fibers option d is the correct answer option d yarn fibers 12th one refer to the given group 1 to 4 each group contains one wrong member identify the odd member and select the correct option okay first flax hemp wool silk cotton the odd one out is wool because flax hemp and silk cotton are plant fiber and wool is a animal fiber second cotton jute flax hemp here the odd one out is cotton because jute flax and hemp are obtained from stem of a plant cotton is obtained from a fruit of cotton plant three polyester nylon acrylic silk here silk is a natural animal fiber while polyester nylon acrylic are man made or synthetic fiber so the odd one out is silk fourth short tush angora wool silk coir 
he acquire is a plant fiber while others are animal fiber so the odon out is coir so odon out in one is wool second one cotton third one silk fourth coir so option c is the correct answer option c 13 which of the following is the correct difference between weaving and knitting a weaving is done with machine while knitting is done with hand only incorrect b weaving uses two sets of yarn while knitting uses only one yarn it is the correct difference between weaving and knitting c weaving is done for silk only while knitting is done for wool only incorrect d all of this so weaving uses two sets of yarn and arranges them together whereas knitting uses a single long yarn so both of this process can be done either by hand or machine so only option b is the correct difference okay option b is the correct answer option b 14th shakshi wanted to test the quality of her dupatta she pulled a small strand of yarn from the dupatta and burned it it smelled like a burning paper she inferred that the dupatta is made of pure a wool b silk cotton c silk d none of these so cotton is a natural fiber obtained from cotton plant it easily catches fire and burns with a bright yellow flame the smell is of burning paper because cotton is a plant product like paper so option b cotton okay option b cotton is the correct answer fifth one select the incorrect match okay select the incorrect match one cotton rating two jute ginning three sliver combing four spinning tuckley five knitting loom six weaving charka so here we need to select the incorrect match actually rating is the process in which jute stem are soaked in water to soften the stem tissue so that jute fibers easily separate from the rotten stem so one is incorrect match okay one is incorrect match then ginning ginning is the process in which cotton fibers are separated from seed okay ginning cotton so two also incorrect match okay then loom is a special machine used in weaving okay loom is a special machine used in weaving so five is incorrect then last charka is a tool used in spinning okay charka is a tool used in spinning so 1 2 and then 5 and 6 are incorrect okay so option a option a 1 2 5 and 6 only option a is the correct answer 16th refer to the given figure x and y and select the correct statement regarding them so here x represent tuckley and y represent charka okay x tuckley y charka option a x is used in spinning while y is used in weaving b both x and y are used in process of twisting fiber to make yarn c x is used in weaving while y is used in knitting d both x and y are used in the process of making fabric from two sets of yarn so both tuckley and charka are used in spinning okay both are used in spinning that is process of twisting fiber to make yarn so option b is the correct answer option b both x and y are used in the process of twisting fiber to make yarn okay option b 17th refer to the given flow chart and select the incorrect statement okay incorrect statement regarding p q r and s so in the given flow chart p is not a plant fiber okay p is not a plant fiber but a natural fiber 
so p can be obtained from animals so p can be either wool or silk wool or silk so q is a plant fiber obtained from a stem of a plant so q may be jute flax or hemp r is obtained from leaves of a plant so r could be sisal then s could s is obtained from a fruits of plant so s could be cotton okay s could be cotton so now option a p could be a protein fiber whereas q r and s could be a cellulose fiber incorrect b rating is involved in processing of q whereas ginning is involved in the processing of x it is also incorrect c p could be wool q could be jute or could be sisal and s could be cotton it is also incorrect fabric made from p and s or excellent winter clothing whereas fabric made from q and r or excellent summer clothing actually wool is used in winter clothing while cotton is used for summer clothing okay so option d is the correct answer option d okay d 18th different steps involved in process of fiber are shown below one spinning two weaving three ginning four scouring five rating select the option that correctly identifies the step that are involved in processing of cotton okay processing of cotton so we know process the first steps involved in processing of cotton is spinning that is one okay spinning one after spinning it goes to weaving after spinning weaving and then ginning okay so one two and then three one two and then three spinning weaving ginning so option c is the correct answer option c 19th refer to the given dichotomous key and select the incorrect statement regarding p q r s and t okay refer to the given dichotomous key and select the incorrect statement regarding p q r s and t so we need to select the incorrect statement so one a it is a natural fiber go to two b it is a man made fiber B. 2 fiber is obtained from plants go to 3 b fiber is obtained from animals go to 4 3 fiber obtained from stem q b fiber obtained from fruit or 4 a fiber obtained by killing of source organism x b fiber obtained without killing source organism t so according to the dichotomous key p is a synthetic fiber okay p is a synthetic fiber because it is a man made fiber and then q could be yeah q could be our fiber obtained from stem okay so jute flax or etc so r r is a fiber obtained from fruit so r is a cotton s is obtained by killing source organism so s is a silk t fiber obtained without killing source organism so t is a wool t is a wool now read the option a fiber of pea burns quickly and shrink away from flame giving slightly sweet chemical odor it is the correct statement because fiber of synthetic fiber burns quickly and shrinks away from flame and giving slightly sweet chemical odor so option a is correct statement b q could be obtained from corcoris capsularis or r could be obtained from gossypium cristum so option b also correct c fiber s is obtained from insect whereas fiber t is obtained from a mammal 
so fiber yes silk is obtained from an insect where wool is obtained from mammal so it is also correct statement d fabric made of s can be worn in all season whereas fabric made of q can be used to make a raincoat it is the incorrect because silk cannot be worn in all season and also q q is a fiber obtained from stem that is jute flax they are not used to make raincoat so the incorrect statement is option d option d 20 read the following characteristic of a fiber and identify it one it is a natural breathable fabric the air can pass in and out through its fiber to each fiber is made up of 20 to 30 layers of coiled cellulose springs three it has a moisture absorbing quality and is used to make good quality clothes for it has natural twist that makes it suitable for spinning a jute b cotton c wool d nylon so by considering the above characteristic of a fiber so that fiber is cotton option b is the correct answer option b thank you my dear kids for watching this video If you like this video please like and subscribe thank you